As the afternoon passes, the weather closes in. As you can see, the tidal drop is huge. I mean, we, when we started out, the water was right up there. It's a metre and a half drop, maybe even a two metre drop in tide. And um, the evening thunderstorms are coming in, so we need to get fishing and get as much more in the bag as we can before we get drenched. Look at that, she caught a little crab. Is it? No, it's not a crab, it's a fish. That's supposed to be in our net, not in your mouth. We're not doing too badly, though. We've got quite a few prawns. Now, it's my turn to take one of the oars. That's right, OK, let me give this a go. We're now bringing the boat in tandem back towards the shore. And when we're at the point where we're at the shore, now we turn and we go the other way. If you get it wrong, you'll twist the boat and mess up all the fishing. Yeah. For a first timer, I'm not doing badly. But I'm so focused on the oar, I forget where my feet are. Well, you know what they say, always make sure you've got pressure on the oar before you go overboard. <laughs> Completely lost my balance there and went. Not clever. Anyway, we can carry on fishing. Witnessing the symbiotic relationship between these amazing creatures and the four men who look after them has been unforgettable. And I feel very humbled to have experienced such a fascinating but dying tradition. And as the heavens open, we bring in the otters for a final time. We've had successful fishing. We've got a lovely load of prawns, which means I can now cook up a fantastic dish for all the guys here. High five. Love it. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>